Sometimes it's, I feel like it's more of the format that people get so overwhelmed by exam results that they forsake the work that they've done and the number of years that they've worked and the time that they've spent that they just want to throw in the towel but we all feel like that like in the CA journey there are days where you just want to like say I it's fine I don't need it anymore but you fail forward you literally use your failures to become a better CA to become a better student to really go back to understand why did I get this incorrectly Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Isil Hormela. And on this channel, it's all about learning, growth, and contribution. So, first of all, thank you so much for the support you guys have shown me in the APC series. My intention for that is to purely allow you to learn, to grow, as well as to pay it forward to the next person. I know there are people that are still going to be writing APC that still have a lot of questions to ask. But I've been getting amazing feedback from even people that aren't even doing APC, guys, which is fantastic. I'm going to read one of the questions over here because I think it was it was close to my heart. It was close to the journey of being a chartered accountant, right? It's not easy. There's a lot of challenges along the way. First year, second year, third year, CTA, um, training contract, your first ITC. Your first board exam which is itc and then apc right so i know i'm at the end and i'm giving my experience at the end but if i could just take a step back just to also help the university students guys now my experience might be completely different to what you're experiencing now i was in cta third year a very long time ago so the one that i'm going to start with in this video is purely third year and answering this question because there's a lot to unpack in this question and i really appreciate the person that sent it through but for me ne, third year was a long time ago third year was 20 2016 yeah it was 2016 don't calculate my age but it was 2016 and i remember third year like it was yesterday so the fact that i got this question i was like girl give me a topic okay so it says my request is that you please do a video on accounting sciences undergrad the third year or the final year to be exact i would love to know what your challenges were if any or perhaps what did you get through undergrad gracefully i feel like that your video would benefit a lot of us because as much as cta itc and epc is difficult some of us are having mental breakdowns in undergrad already i personally sometimes feel like i am not cta caliber not to mention the board exams because after you, your youtube video i realized that oh my gosh it doesn't get better that was not the intention <laughs> I think your insight might help me and so many others reconsider giving up before even beginning the journey. Your response would be highly appreciated. Oh, and by the way, challenges as well. I mean, academic wise, some of us have been failing undergrad modules, uh, which makes one wonder if we could even make it through CTA when one is barely making it through undergrad. Mugyal, welcome to becoming a chartered accountant. <laughs> Yo, I'm not laughing, but this journey, guys, I think there's this, there's this thing, yeah, when you're doing accounting, you are like cream of the crop, you are so smart, like, you are a buffin, you are top notch, which, by virtue of right, now, there are people that are doing this course that are extremely smart, and I don't want you to downplay the fact that you are in third year and already asking this question, that just shows you that you made it through first year, second year, and now you're in your third year and you're asking this question so you are making the right decision you are more than capable enough to pursue and continue with this journey now let me even tell you something in my first year our accounting group was massive guys that monash lecture room was so big i was like oh my gosh so many people and i mean if you are in a uct uj uh up like the bigger universities i can't even imagine what your lecture rooms look like but for me i was overwhelmed i was like i'm from a small town so coming to this massive lecture room man guys so many people by second semester of first year it wasn't for everyone people were leaving second year people were really leaving third year i 
they do uh, a few right and that's what you'll realize that the people that stay in this journey are the ones that have tenacity the ones that can press through and like really persevere in times of really difficult times and the journey itself the work is difficult but i think the thing with third year is that it's clouded by this narrative that you're about to graduate that you're about to finish your academic university experience maybe you're not considering cta maybe you're interested in third year that's just the mindset that comes with third year that you're about to graduate and for some people you might be the first in your family to graduate other people you might be the first in accounting to graduate or you are falling into the footsteps or you don't want to disappoint your parents who are potentially CAs or are in finance so you want to also press through and make sure that you are going through this journey so that's the mindset of third year man you know there's a lot going on it's the first time where you experience how difficult the journey is and over and above the work itself right for me for example i remember i was like captain of the nipple team guys midnight staring i loved nipple i still love it and i had recently like started a relationship in the beginning of the year guys nahana modolo in the year oh i guess i really love it and it was like new and not so long after that i think me and that person um broke up well he broke up with me guys you will be like my heart was in shambles but i never i never expected it you know over and above the work was getting difficult this breakup that came out of nowhere like really it shook me like it hit me so hard i was like what's happening like what's going on you know and i remember i had to have this mentality that forget the breakup I'm here because I need to study, I need to finish my degree and I committed. I've done 2 years already. So to want to give up now because of something that had nothing to do with the work but made me feel like I was not worthy, you know, was already clouding my judgment, you know. And I know I say that this journey is difficult, but there are moments where you want to quit especially in your third year because for example auditing right you get introduced to computer assisted cats they ask you things that have i felt like i had no relationship with auditing and i really loved auditing but i feel like in third year there was a disconnect because i wasn't i didn't have experience of auditing so it was becoming very difficult to make it make sense in my mind ne as well as management accounting like it felt so far fetched but it was practical lessons principles that you really could apply and if you thought about it if you took time to study and be disciplined enough to understand the work it has sense because this this people that are passing so <laughs> surely we are not all mad like it's possible you know and i want it to be possible for you to even in your third year to know that there's going to be moments where the work is difficult but discipline commitment tenacity those are the lessons that you that you carry with you becoming a ca is that you fail but you fail forward you you learn to like press on and to like really persevere and push yourself to a point where you even shock yourself like i remember shocking myself after passing a test after this breakup i was like whom is that you girl what's the wrong <laughs> like after so many nights of crying what pass are still hey man what's up you know and that's the the mindset that i had that like you know i was i felt like i wasn't doing enough but for some weird reason like things were working together because i was committed i was going to the library i was having a lot of late nights in the library early mornings in the morning revising my work and i remember i think after that breakup i was so traumatized yo but on guys i needed to see god after that breakup because then i made it about my ability to succeed in cta and not cta third year and i know that life happens while you are third yearing if that makes sense there's things that hinder how you attack and address third year and that's why i needed to highlight this breakup because i feel like for me that could have if i if i absorbed what the breakup did i could have not been as successful as i was in my third year and i remember i went on this on this journey né, of finding god then i was reading books i was listening to um there's this other guy i even forgot his name but i remember he was very prominent in my 
in my phone like everywhere on my laptop i was listening to self-development conversations and i i really discovered self-development after that breakup you know and i remember i put up posters in my room it was like little postcards or like stickers that i was putting up in my room of like scriptures of affirmations and really understanding the narrative that you have in your mind is so important to how you attack uh, a test or situation that was happening and unfolding and i needed to silence the doubt and the insecurity in my mind so this idea came to my mind where there were scriptures all over my wall there was like affirmations it looked like a rainbow puked in my room but guys there was a there was a, a reason there you know and there was also like a mission statement where i literally wrote down like who i wanted to become i, I wrote down things like i wanted to become a, a chartered accountant i wanted to be married with a child um with two children actually and i wanted to like travel and teach uh, and help people on their journey of becoming their best self and i, I saw myself like doing seminars and like touching people and my family in the front seat like I, I this mission statement was so clear in my mind and i remember like i used to read that to myself every morning as i stepped out of bed i would read my mission statement and i would look around me to all this encouragement because i remembered that i needed to silence that voice that told me that i couldn't do it that i could graduate that like i'm going to be standing on a stage and i'm going to get my degree and i'm going to make it because i've invested so much time i've made sure that i've committed i've gone to my lecturers and asked them about like concepts that i wasn't clear with i know you mentioned that there's challenges that you face but most of the challenges that we face is that we think we we have a problem and we can't fix it by ourselves and we recognize that we can't fix it by ourselves right but it takes an extra step to go to your lecturer and say listen i think you must repeat this thing because i don't understand what's going on or like can you please clarify this thing can you give me a practical example right getting the courage to actually approach your tutors and your lecturers just to like sit them down and say listen i really don't understand this paragraph in ifra 16 and i really need you to make it make sense you know people sometimes don't do that like they, they're too scared to do it and i told myself listen you can't be scared it's for you so i needed to remember that i needed to be brave enough to stand up for myself and go to the lecturer and ask them and another thing that you mentioned here is thinking that it won't get better i mean i've highlighted the fact that like every aspect of this journey teaches you different parts about yourself and it also reveals different skills that you might potentially have within you that you probably don't know as yet so a learning curve is always difficult like it's always uncomfortable to be challenged with how you think how you learn how you approach situations and that's what happens in in third year and then you make the transition to CTA and you're like yo CTA yo this is a mountain I can't then you do ITC then it's like yo 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 yo, yo I, I, got, ah, I quit then you get to APC then it's like <laughs> yeah no <laughs> but that's when you're so close you're like extremely close so the point that i'm trying to make is that the things that hinder you when you are studying especially in third year cta itc apc is the things around you and this person inside here this brain the little voice your insecurities reminding you of mm -mm, girl is not it you know but you need to find a way to silence it by making sure that you are doing the work by making sure that you are going to your lectures that you are speaking with your friends your friends know exactly what you're going through the ones that are in the course that you are in right and i made sure that i was i was friends with the smart kids because i really needed to understand what are you guys doing like why lepasa and lepasaka flying colors like what am i not doing you know i made sure that i made friends with those people i made sure that like I went to my lectures when I was uncomfortable with something. I made sure that even if there was a party and I'm tempted, but I need to study, you know, like those decisions are painful in the moment. But when you realize that there is a greater cause behind all of this, it's much easier to like pull from you, from the inner you to say, okay, this is going to be worth it in the end. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like the road becomes smoother. You become stronger. Like the work will forever be a tad difficult just that you know but you become stronger you become more wiser you become more knowledgeable like you you get to that point where now things become 
clearer like it clicks it's like oh okay i understand why i had to why i had to fail that test in third year i remember why this was a challenge for me in third year because now i'm i'm doing it better in cta or for example you're doing it better in itc but in third year it's that pressure of i'm about to graduate and you constantly also reminding yourself or, or seeing on your feed people graduate 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 pressure don't create pressure that you don't need in your life you know remember Horvela, your time is also coming like the decisions that you made the fact that you are in third year you've made an amazing decision by choosing to become a chartered accountant because the opportunities that open up afterwards immeasurable like i wish i could in a video just explain what this this course has done for me but i think that's a separate video but for encouragement to say that third year is painful right it is painful i won't just play that part down and you mentioned um about failing modules already like we all failed <laughs> like there comes a point in time where you realize failing is a part of the journey you know failure failing is actually a lesson you you fail forward like you you get to understand why you failing a test is maybe you're not understanding a principle or you need to work that much harder to understand what you needed to achieve or the objective of the question right sometimes you're just having a bad day and you're allowed to have a bad day sometimes you really don't understand something and you need to go back to the fundamental principles and just like okay what what, what did i miss like there's nothing wrong with refining who you are but using your failure as a lesson to why you should press on forward is like success on its own failing doesn't mean that you got an f on your test when you give up and quit and decide this journey is not for me because you feel like it's a mountain that you don't want to climb that i would say introspect and really assess is it just your insecurity that's like elevated in your mind because you you weren't successful in a test or is it really that no man this ca route is not for you sometimes it's I feel like it's more of the former that people get so overwhelmed by exam results that they forsake the work that they've done and the number of years that they've worked and the time that they've spent that they just want to throw in the towel but we all feel like that like in the CA journey there are days where you just want to like say I it's fine i don't need it anymore but you fail forward you literally use your failures to become a better ca to become a better student to really go back to understand why did i get this incorrectly because those are life skills when you are failing in your life as in things aren't successful that you want to be successful your relationship your relationship with your partner your family um with your friends for example you literally go back and you figure out like why why did this result happen like why was this not successful that's a life skill like it's not don't even undermine the fact that you're failing a test be proud that there is an opportunity for you to go back and learn and really commit to the thing that you started but this is just encouragement to tell you that i don't want to give out this false narrative that the road to becoming a ca is great it's amazing and then you get there and you're like oh it was a lie you know i want to give you practical tips but ways to also like overcome your insecurities and overcome the way you talk to yourself overcome the fact that you're going to be failing tests and you're going to reconsider this journey that is part of the process right and at the same time i want to also give you hope and insight and encouragement to say that there are things outside being a CTA student, a third year, an APC candidate that give you joy because of you are that person. You know, the fact that I was able to like buy this apartment, like I love my apartment, but if it wasn't for accounting, you know, the fact that like I'm wise, like in the things that I do. And it wasn't by mistake. It was because management accounting auditing you know it made me think like this designation opens up parts of you that you don't even realize are there but you need it to activate those parts of you that are there and i remember making it through third year gave me so much confidence at the end like when i graduated i just felt like damn girl you've done the most like you really are a beautiful human being you're a hard worker you persevered like you didn't let that breakup get to you you didn't let 
your insecurities get to you i was still able to become a good captain to my netball girls like i loved the fact that it was my last year and i wanted it to be a good year i didn't want to sit and think about all the things that i'm not achieving in or the test that i'm failing like i really held on to hope and i made sure that like i clung to my friends that supported me my lecturers that were always open to help me my tutors that were there so make sure that you're reaching out for support that you're not doing third year alone because no great thing has happened by yourself it is because of partnerships it, it is because of you speaking out and asking for help when you do need help but i hope your question was was answered it was a lengthy one it was a full one and i loved it please do continue sending me your your questions i know my next video um will be about cta because i did get another request about cta and so i think it will be good to make that as a separate video but for all of you students that are on route to becoming a ca you can do this you are doing this you are amazing you have so much in you that you have yet to discover and my biggest prayer is that you hold on to hope and that you know that you can make it to the other side with the right people behind you backing you making your family proud but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that it was able to encourage you don't forget to like to comment to share and to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye